Should we do a little intro? Should we do an intro? 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 Should we do an intro? Let's do an intro. So I'm assuming it's called swivel because this bit swivels. This is like riding around someone's garden. Well, technically it is riding around someone's garden. I'll tell you what, if you've never ridden off-road before and you've got semi-off-road tires, this would be a great learning curve. All mud crossing. Dangerous. That's a handlebar mount attachment. So similar to the mirror one, but a thicker diameter in the hole. Leave it. I've got it strapped up at the moment completely. So we're on full strap on mode. I'm making all the excuses at the moment for bad riding. I'm tired, my knees are, no, nothing. I'm a complete, well, I'm a complete really. <laughs> That's right, I did a question. <laughs> No chance of doing this video. Oh, why do I bother? Right, get on with it, son. Get on with it. Stop it. Did you hit your head on that? Yeah. I wonder he's a bit dazed. I think he's normally like this. That would hurt, wouldn't it? Oh, it seems even smaller on the way back. And is there a better way to start? The ride into work on a beautiful country lane on my beloved Super Cub. I don't think so. Maybe there is. So let's see if the Super Cub can do its Moto 3 thing. Oh, it's just like the TT. It kind of drags the rocks into the rut as well. So if you get stuck in a rut, hey, <laughs> get yourself a therapist and get out of it. I didn't ask him to stop at the beginning of the lane, but he got too excited and off he went. Bless his cotton off road socks. He'll always come back to see if you're alive or dead. Only for filming and views. You could say it's a more difficult route, but you could also say it's a more fun route. I see you suck it out with your butt cheeks. <laughs> I don't care. Do you care? Do you care? I bet you don't. I bet you do not. But they're plans nevertheless. You've got to hatch them somewhere. I never thought I'd be held up by a cyclist when the bike is on the roof of the car. Why are so many people disfatif? Why are so many people disfatif? Why are so many people disfat? <laughs> sex on a stick. I don't know what that reference means, but that is sex on a stick. We're christening the Africa Twin, off-road in the Picos. This is what it's all about. This is what I came for. Oh, hey! We're going the right way, we're just not sure if we're going the same way as we're supposed to. <laughs> stuck up a mountain. I'm not stuck, the bike works, but I'm not going to say it, but yeah, I'm upright. Hopefully, as I said, everyone's all right and the rest of them be here soon. We're now down to three. We've had two crashes and the rest have turned back. I will try and keep this professional, unlikely, but we'll have a go. Richie, this is a life. <laughs> this is the life. Banging these on my legs. Winner, winner, toasty leg dinner. We're professional adventurers, you see. We only get lost at the first turning. <laughs> Not like I can leave my bike because it's just sinking. 
Don't you just hate it when vandals break into your field and spray your sheep? What's up? Meh. It's alright, I'm not here for the sex. Oh dear. Yeah. Oh, I thought I trod in the cow poo then. But we're at 4,900 feet at the moment. Lovely little cottage out in, uh, I'm not going to tell you where because you'll come and stalk me you little freaks. commute I'm gonna do on the big dog the mighty twin the CRF 1100L is out of here it's going I absolutely love it look at her she's beautiful she's filthy but she's beautiful <laughs> oh she's a sexy mofo I picked the wrong side. <laughs> Deal that I could not resist on a bike that I could not resist. Oh, we got a little bit of water. That's the deepest I've seen that for a while. I'm sure there'll be people in the comment section saying I don't love a super cab. Well, you need to get out more. And I'm going to tell you this now. If you don't like a super cab, your mum. Ice cream van. Ice cream van. down there that would be fun but I guess I'd be shot by the farmer so I won't do that it's only my opinion that counts <laughs> I said meet at half nine but I didn't check whether the cafe was open but hopefully the guys that run it they know we're coming so fingers crossed I can't do it in these gloves but I'm just swearing it you know fingers crossed anyway let's get on with it right leaving route 1066 cafe conqueror's apparel bloody good turnout I don't know why we do that, it's a biker thing. You're only here to see the bike, but let me just build the tension a little bit more. It's behind me, it's right behind me, right there. You can't see it, but I know it's there. Well, I hope it's still there. It's got the key and I hope no one's stolen it. If I turn around and uh, there's nothing there, it's gonna be a bit of an anticlimax, isn't it? Anyway, let's just show you the bike. So let's get on with it. Welcome to the dark side. If you guessed that I was getting another Africa twin and what we've got on here is if I remember correctly a stealth ceramic black mini oval with carbon tip with the silver and black decal on I know some of you complained it's matte black why'd you get a black one because I wanted one 
It's my bike. <laughs> Get over yourselves. Huh. Carry on with me ride now. Out the back box. Uh, what a twat. Not really a lot I can say about that. I'm going to put it on. Well, hello. Welcome back to Gimps R Us. Going that way first and then left. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Pleasure to meet you, bud. Yeah, I don't know where I'm going. See, you don't need off-roaders. You just need a stupid brain. Really? <laughs> oh, shit. I thought the back box fell off then. No, nope, we're all right. We're still going. <laughs> yeah, little beauty. <laughs> Nothing stops the mighty Super Cub. These, I believe, are called the Lovelace Bridges. And they were built for the Lovelace Estate that is around here. There's a few of these down some of these lanes. So Google that. That's a little bit of history for you. And of course, they're made of bricks. And we do like a brick thing, don't we? I'm full up with water now. Woo! They've picked me as one of their inspiring riders this year. I know, me, inspiring. <laughs> I shouldn't be talking, I should be inspiring. <laughs> Super cup loving. Let's quickly run through this again. I knew I was going to drop off the curb. I knew that. I was going off-road. First time off-road on this Africa Twin. But no problem. I've ridden off-road before. The problem is, once I got off-road, I kind of noticed something. And it was at this point here, where if you look up ahead, I notice a pole. So now I've got two choices, left or right. So I'm heading towards the pole and I decided, let's go right. That's my best option. Rocks on the left. So I have to flick the back up by full gas and get back on the road. Let's see what happens here. There you go. Job's a good one. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Pat on the back for me. Now, if I did that 10 times more, I'd probably crash nine. But there you go. Moral of the story is, don't look at the scenery. Look at the bloody road. Right? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Never did you wrong, but you did me wrong, so go ahead, get, get gone. gone. Get all your bags, get out my house. I don't want your stuff around. I never did you wrong, but you did me wrong, so go ahead and get gone.